If any of you thought that the situation going on in the Indian Ocean, specifically by the Krakatoa volcano or the tsunami buoy that has been going absolutely haywire, including the Andaman Sea situation we discovered here on the Into Thin Air channel, was anywhere close to being over, you would be wrong because we have even more data today supporting the fact that, that one of the most dangerous fault lines in the world, mind you, has now basically taken over the internet by storm. After having noticed back on April 2nd on the Into Thin Air channel that the Andaman Sea was going through some sort of weird situation when it comes to drastic changes in sea level due to the tsunami buoys going into activation mode. We then noticed that another buoy within the same vicinity along the same major fault line began showing signatures that even the professionals have no clue how to explain. Since breaking this information, even major channels like Mr. MBB333 who covers global anomalies started picking up on this about two days ago and when an amazing researcher such as him picks up on stuff like this who I have a lot of respect for a lot more people begin to pay attention and not even just him but other researchers as well even directly using our information here on the Into Thin Air channel have also began to pick up on this so this is a great thing to see happening and I couldn't be more grateful to my subscribers for sharing this information and spreading it all over the internet because we are now seeing the fruits of our labor take place not only that but we are now getting more and more theories of what could possibly be causing these drastic dips and rises in one of the most vulnerable places on planet Earth that includes a major volcano underwater volcanoes, an area of two major tectonic plates colliding with each other that are known for mega thrust earthquakes and ensuing tsunamis in the past. So to see both of these areas going through changes that we haven't seen in an extremely long time is something that should not go unnoticed. And now based on all the coverage it's getting, even just here on YouTube, is a very good sign because we need to keep eyes on this area, which includes monitoring this data on a daily basis, which is what we're going to do right now which absolutely must include this chart that i'm sure a lot of you are sick of looking at but we have to this is very important data let's go ahead and click our now famous buoy and check out what's been going on for now five straight days now now i've been getting a lot of comments asking if this buoy may be malfunctioning or something along those lines at this point in my opinion that is not what's happening here these are clear-cut signatures going on and it almost looks like they're coming in intervals it almost looks like the ground is going through sessions of breathing, rises and dips, basically happening in pairs of twos throughout each day, leading up to the 27th right here. And now that we are into the 27th, we can already see we've had another dip to start the beginning phase of another set of two, if that makes sense. It's almost like each day is getting a set of two drastic dips and then rises. So we're talking well over a week of this buoy showing similar signatures as if there's something going on on the ground that's causing that rise and then almost leveling out just to then have another signature and another trigger. Now this buoy has been in trigger mode for days now. Usually they only last 24 hours, but because it's being triggered over and over again, this thing has been pulsing for days. All right, my friends, and now we're going to take a look at a few different situations that could possibly be taking place right now. So right away, let's get over to the area in question where the buoy is. Let's say that buoy is right around this area. Again, this ridge right here is the meeting of two tectonic plates. Okay, back in 2004, this area right up here by the Andaman Sea was responsible for that 9.3 earthquake and then the big tsunami that we have now covered in multiple videos since back on April 2nd when that buoy went into activation mode showing a very, very weird signature that you just don't see all the time. So that's clue number one. And as we follow this fault line down to the area of which the second buoy now that has been going off for over a week with some of the most dramatic signatures I've ever seen as a YouTuber or even just in studying weird anomalies on Earth, we have that situation taking place as well. Now, if we move up here between between these two islands, we have something called the Krakatau Volcano. Now, we're going to zoom into this area because there's actually two parts to this volcano. As you can see, the main Krakatau Volcano is right here, and then we have the sister volcano, the Anak Krakatau. Now, both of which have gone off in the past. We all know about this. On May 20th in the 1800s, we had one of the biggest eruptions ever to take place at this volcano. And we absolutely have action at this sister volcano, or 
for the offspring volcano. As you can see in this article, Indonesia raises alert level for Krakatau's offspring volcano. This article is explaining how this part of the volcano chain is becoming very active. I will of course leave the link for this article in the description box for you guys to check out, but I just want to read this one section of the article for you very quickly. Indonesia raised the alert status for the offspring of the infamous Krakatau volcano to its second highest level on Monday a day after it erupted and spewed towering ash clouds 3,000 meters into the sky, which would also be into thin air. The bottom line is, as we zoom out here, this sister volcano of the Krakatau Island system is showing signs of wanting to erupt. Now, that doesn't automatically mean that the main Krakatau volcano is going to erupt, but what we're trying to do here is link all this evidence together and show that there must be some sort of connection, not just with the Andaman Sea and its anomalies, but the fact that it's on the exact same fault line, reaching all the way down to where that tsunami buoy is with the action going on with the volcano and these rises and dips in the buoy itself and last but not least we can't forget the fact that we had a random at least at the time considered a random eruption of the Tonga volcano or the Honga Tonga volcano now many of you especially my subscriber base knows all about this situation because we followed this very very closely we watched this thing erupt basically in real time in fact the new images that Google Earth has provided has actually shown the eruption cloud that surrounds the island if we change the date here we can actually zoom in and look at what the island looked like before the eruption but I'm sure this is a very familiar picture to a lot of you so once again what we're doing here is we're taking some vital evidence and some similar ideas here that this is also a big long ridge of tectonic plates that was home to this random eruption from that volcano that sent a tsunami throughout the entire Pacific Ocean now I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to be taking place in this area but the similar geography and the fact that we actually have a tsunami buoy in this area we didn't have one near Tonga to give us any sort of signatures or warning ahead of time but I hope some of you are starting to understand the evidence here and the quote-unquote coincidences that we are having with this entire area as a whole my friends as I state in most of my videos I'm trying to take information that is available to any one of us public information and making connections and showing you things that are not out of the realm of possibility we've seen crazier things happen on this planet we know things like this are possible they've happened in the past including that tsunami high grade mega thrust earthquakes underwater volcanoes and because of a lot of today's technology we have the ability to monitor these things and make educated guesses by no means am I saying that we are on the front lines of a major catastrophe I'm just saying that there's some signatures out there pointing in some very scary direction with that said I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video I appreciate each and every one of you that are down in the comments section discussing this throwing out different theories different ideas that's exactly what this is all about and it is very much a appreciated shout out to Canada I will be all over this situation as more information becomes available to us and until then I will see you all in the next video take care bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed